You guys have no idea how difficult it is to record a video like this when you just keep coughing. <coughs> On cue. I'm not on camera that much, but when I am, it's for something that is important. And I've got to jump on the bandwagon of filming the reaction to Fantastic Beasts, to The Crimes of Grindelwald. What is going on with this trailer? It's epic. Well, I've watched it once, and the reason why I've only watched it once... <coughs> it's because I'm sick. No, it's not because I'm sick. It's because I want to film my proper reaction to it in more detail so i've seen all the other guys and i want to all the other guys videos and i want to jump on and give you my opinion and my reaction so i've got the trailer here i'm going to pop it on screen right about now and uh <coughs> let's go ahead and watch excuse me for coughing throughout this video That scene of Hogwarts, it's just such a homely feeling. Love it. I might make one or two comments, but I'm gonna talk properly after the trailer. Professor. How cool is Jude Law just putting his hands in his pockets like you? Know, whatever, I'm the man. And the guy that's talking here is the Minister for Magic, I think, anyway. So that's Hector Foley, because he was the guy that was around when Grindelwald started his revolution. There he is there. And that's a fact because it's it's on Pottermore. I love this scene too. When you're gonna have to pick a side. Jacob. Wanna talk about him and his bakery? Jeez. Oh, I love that. I love the underwater scene. And the circus. The little boat juggle. <coughs> Thestrals as well. My favourite animal in the wizarding world. And that scene there of Grindelwald with the scraggy long hair and what Dumbledore says afterwards as well. I love the way it just broke out of the uh, Deathly Hallow symbol. Damn! Right. There we go. That was the trailer. I know so many of you have seen it already. Um, but I just gotta talk a couple of I just gotta talk a couple of things. I just gotta talk about a couple of things. I'm not on camera enough, leave me alone. But the first scene, Hogwarts. I never ever imagined that I'd ever see Hogwarts in another movie again. Um, they do it so well, it's as if it was in the Deathly Hallows as well. Um, I actually question if they just reused old footage because it's so similar, but um, we'll, I'll take their word that it's, uh, it's new footage. Of course it would be. Um, as I mentioned, Hector Foley, Minister for Magic. He was the guy that was around when um, Grindelwald was the guy who was starting this revolution, getting all the wizards together, like the pre Voldemort's Voldemort. Um, and you've got to notice as well that Hector Foley goes straight to Dumbledore. Dumbledore seems to be this guy that everyone goes to if something's going on or something's happening. Don't forget that Cornelius Fudge used to go to Dumbledore for advice and then he actually ended up turning on Dumbledore. And it could be similar with Hector Foley going to Dumbledore to see what, trying to suss out what's happening um, before he could potentially incriminate Dumbledore for any association with Gellert Grindelwald or Newt Scamander, because Newt Scamander is kind of, I'm sure they've given word um, from what's been happening over in, in America, even though he did kind of save the day, he started the problem himself, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> and he was expelled from Hogwarts, don't forget that. So this is all happening. Um, we also know it takes place between Paris and England, so we're gonna see something, maybe Bobaton's Academy, maybe someone from there. Um, that could be interesting to see as well. Um, it looks like we have some sort of like small portrayal of like the Fantastic Beasts, you can say, within the movie. They will have some part to play as well. And Jacob, Jacob is in this one. And we know where it's taking place. It's taking place in 
Paris and England, so that means he leaves his bakery. Does he close his bakery, or is it just going to be an open plot hole that I'll just close it now? You know, that's interesting as well. Um, the scene with Grindelwald and that woman. Now, I originally thought that was Seraphina Pickery because before I actually checked up, I thought, didn't she, um, didn't her presidency end like around 1926 or something like that? But it actually didn't, it ended around 1928 because she was actually killed in 1928. So maybe it was Grindelwald that killed her. Because don't forget, Grindelwald doesn't, it doesn't end in this movie. It goes on and on and on up until 1945. So that's quite interesting as well. But I did think that it was Serafina Pickery at the beginning. I kind of thought he talked her around a little bit. Um, and then we also get to see Thestrals, my favourite animal of the Wizarding World. Love them. So, so good. Um, and then that scene where Jude Law puts his hands in his pockets and he's just like, yeah, I'm the man. He plays him so charmingly. It's really, really good to see like a different kind of characteristic or different portrayal maybe taking the Dumbledore more of a cooler, kind of calmer version. Although the Dumbledore in the books was quite calm as well. Um, but anyway, um, then we see Grindelwald with long hair, that scraggy hair, that beard, kind of like the way he was portrayed in the movies, in you know the Harry Potter movies, which is good to see. I kind of prefer him like that. I don't like the kind of Hitler kind of thing going on as well and the most important line for me <coughs> excuse me again dying is Dumbledore saying I can't move against Grindelwald it will have to be you is this because one he has an emotional connection to Grindelwald and he just you know it's gonna break his heart maybe this is what the LGBT community wanted um, I personally think he can't move against him because he doesn't want to um, come to terms with the realisation that it was either he or Grindelwald that killed his sister Ariana. And then the other reason I think could be because uh, Grindelwald is always one step ahead of Dumbledore because he emotionally, he has him emotionally and he knows maybe what Dumbledore is going to do. They know each other inside out, they spent a lot of years together as well. Um, so that's quite interesting to see what's going to happen. There's a lot more in the trailer, the circus thing as well. I'm interested to see if they have any sort of uh, what way the circus is going to be portrayed. Is it going to be like a secretly magical circus with um, magically gifted people? Things like that. It's quite interesting. So there's a lot happening in this movie. Um, as that was that was supposed to be the final trailer as well. So I'm looking forward to the movie coming out. It's going to be a long time. We're at March now. So it's April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Guys, we've got eight months until the movie is released. Um, hopefully maybe they could squeeze maybe one more trailer out I don't think they will but um, it's been good to see um, I'm gonna have a look at it one more time to try and analyze it properly but I hope you guys liked this video I'm not on camera that much so it's nice to be um, face to face with you all for once and um, look out for my video coming out tomorrow it's on the life of Helga Hufflepuff so make sure you tune in tomorrow for that and that's it guys, thanks so much for watching, I will see you all in the next video. And finally, in addition to that guys, just to let you know that the one giveaway that I have been talking about the last couple of weeks will finally be taking place when my Instagram page reaches 5,000 followers. So if you have not followed me on Instagram yet, make sure you do so because it's the only way you can enter to win the wand. If you're already subscribed to me on YouTube and you follow me on Instagram, then you'll be entered into the draw twice, just to let you know that as well. So make sure you get on and follow me on Instagram. And that is all for today's video, which is what I normally say at this point. So make sure to check out some of my other videos so on the left hand side of the page. My video yesterday on Salazar Slytherin is there for you to view. Um, and make sure to check my other channel, Game of Thrones Lore. I've got some videos on some Game of Thrones characters there as well. Guys, that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciate um, that I got on camera and I was a little bit nervous because I'm not on camera that much. So thanks again guys and I hope you all have a great day.